I'm Alessandra Barrett, Special Projects Editor of the Journal of Commerce. I'm at our 14th annual TPM conference in Long Beach, and I'm joined today by Roger Gunther, Executive Director of the Port of Houston Authority. Thanks for speaking with us today, Roger. Thanks for having me. It's a great conference. Any particular trade lanes showing strong growth at the port? Uh, yes, there are. The uh, Port of Houston is, is really solid on its existing trade lanes uh, that we've had from North Europe and East Coast of South America. Our uh, volume in 2013 was up 6% over the previous year, so uh, really solid growth there. In particular, though, the Asian sector has really shown strong growth of recent. Uh, in fact, if uh, we go back 10 years, uh, we really didn't have any all-water services in, in Houston. And uh, now we have two all-water services. It, it's, it's the fastest growing sector that we have and it accounts for about 25% of our volume uh, now. So we're really excited about that. Uh, the South American market remains strong. Uh, Houston is, has been since uh, for the last four or five years the uh, leading port in containers for trade with Brazil. So uh, uh, things look very strong in Houston and we're excited about the opportunities that we have moving forward. What are your expectations for Houston for 2014 and moving forward? Well, I think Houston's in a really good place. Uh, we're expecting a significant amount of growth in Houston due to very uh, several different factors. Uh, you know, there's, there's truly a uh, renaissance in the uh, energy sector going on in Texas right now just due to the cheap natural gas and uh, in South Texas uh, that's going to contribute to the production of even more resin, which is a major part of our trade lane. You know, we're getting reports that companies are, are going to double and triple their volume and export of resins through Houston. Uh, we're really excited about that. We certainly are planning for that capacity as well as on the import side. The demographics in Houston are strong. The population's growing at a rapid pace. And uh, with, with the Panama Canal, uh, you know, on the verge in the next year or two, whenever it opens, we think we're, uh, we're in good position to uh, receive even larger ships. In, uh, uh, for that import trade from East Asia. Any projects currently underway to address market growth? Yes, we, uh, we're always planning. Uh, we uh, have uh, good plans uh, uh, in Houston. We're currently doing about 2 million TEUs, almost 2 million TEUs a year in Houston, and we have uh, two container facilities that do about 70% of the uh, volume in the Gulf. And uh, our Barber's Cut Terminal is the older terminal uh, very functional, very productive and efficient terminal, but uh, it is 30, 35 years old. So we are doing a renovation, reconstruction, whereby we're getting larger cranes for that facility. And uh, so we're in the first phase of a six or seven hundred million dollar expansion that we plan to do over the next decade to be able to handle the larger ships as well as to increase our capacity at that terminal. Uh, also, our, our Bayport terminal is uh, about 50% built and uh, we have uh, projects that are on the shelf designed ready to go to expand the docks and the acreage to handle a, a growth in capacity. So when it's all said and done, you know, we're handling, we, we have the ability over the next decade or however how quickly the, uh, the uh, growth occurs to handle up to 5 million TEUs in Houston. So we're set, we're in a good position. and. Uh, also, what we're doing on the, uh, on the water side is uh, the dredging. We, uh, the Houston Ship Channel is 45 feet, and we have projects that are, uh, will be let very soon uh, to deepen and widen both the Barber's Cut and the Bayport Channel uh, to, uh, to get to 45 feet to handle the larger ships. Well, thanks for taking time from the conference again to speak with me. Well, thanks for your time, and uh, it's, it's a great conference. and. Uh, it's my second time here and I'm really enjoying it. Thank you. We've been speaking with Roger Gunther, Executive Director of the Port of Houston Authority.